Hey guys, it's Hannah and today I'm going to be doing my Christmas slash birthday book haul. So for those of you who don't know, my birthday is December 24th and that's the day before Christmas so I get all of my Christmas presents and my birthday presents at the same time of the year, hence why I have so many books to show you guys in this book haul because it's a combination of my Christmas presents from the year and my birthday presents of the year in one haul. So this book haul is going to be absurdly large. I don't think I have ever hauled this many books, nor do I think I will ever haul this many books at one time again. I have 30 plus books to show you guys, so I'm just gonna jump into it right away because there are way too many books to talk about. So the first two books I have to show you guys were a Christmas present from my sister and they are Sense and Sensibility and Emma from the Anthropology Jane Austen collection. I already own Pride and Prejudice and Mansfield Park but I really wanted these other two to complete the collection so I asked my sister to get them for me for Christmas and she did and I'm very thankful for them because they're beautiful and now I have the whole collection so I can just put them on my shelf all together and I'm really excited about it and I really really love these. So the next set of books I have to show you guys are from Book Outlet and they are a birthday present from my sister but I picked all these books out myself so I already knew what they were gonna be but then she got them for me. So the first book is Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. Now this is the author who wrote the series of Unfortunate Events books but I've heard that this book is also very very good and I love Daniel Handler's writing so I really wanted to read this one. The next book I'm super super excited about because when I saw that this one was on Book Outlet I freaked out because they don't sell this cover anymore but I wanted this cover and they had it and it is the original cover of The Diviners by Libba Bray. I know that this series had a cover change to the second book and I think the third isn't going to match this original cover but I really love this original cover and I think it's really really pretty and I wanted this one and when they had it on Book Outlet I was so so happy. So I asked my sister to get it for me and she did and I'm very very happy that I have it now. The next book that my sister got me off of Book Outlet is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. And really funny story with this one, when this book came in the mail I was talking about how I want to go to another Cassandra Clare Holly Black book signing so I can also get this one signed because I have all the Holly Black books that I own and almost all the Cassandra Clare books that I own signed by Cassandra Clare and Holly Black. So I wanted to go and get this one signed as well so I could have all of them signed. And then I opened the book and I looked inside on the title page and it was signed and it wasn't supposed to be signed. And I was so shocked and surprised, I mean pleasantly surprised, but it was so weird because I was talking about how I wanted to get it signed and then I just happened to look in it and it was signed and I don't even know how that happened but I'm not complaining because now I do have all of my Holly Black books signed. So that was a little bonus surprise that was within this gift and I was really happy about it. The next book outlet book my sister got me is You by Caroline Kepneys. I've been hearing about this book from everyone on booktube and I've heard a lot of great reviews about it. I've never read a psychological thriller before and I decided why not start with this one because I really like the premise of it. So I asked my sister to get it for me and she did and again I'm very very happy to have it so I can read it very soon. And the final book that my sister got me from Book Outlet as a birthday present is The Silkworm by J.K. Rowling or Robert Galbraith. I don't even know how to say the name but this is J.K. Rowling. This is the second book in J.K. Rowling's adult mystery detective series um, and I got The Cuckoo's Calling which is the first book a couple of months back and then I saw this one on Book Outlet for super cheap so I thought why not get the second one in the series so I can start to collect the whole thing and I'm really happy that it was there and I'm really happy that I got it as a birthday present so I can't wait to dive into this series as well. So the next four books, or technically comics, were probably one of the best birthday presents that I got this year because I really, really wanted these. And if you couldn't guess, because I don't really read any other comics, it's the rest of the saga volumes by Brian K. Vaughn and Fiona Staples. I only owned the very first volume in the saga comics, and I borrowed the other ones from a friend to read, but I wanted to own all of them myself because I loved the series so, so much. I got them from my family, and I was very, very thankful because I love this series so much, and I'm so happy to have them because now I can just reread them whenever I want. The next book I actually got as kind of a late Christmas present for myself because I was at Anthropology and it was on sale and I've wanted one of these for a very long time now. And it is the Lost Ocean adult coloring book and I've been seeing these everywhere and they're just so beautiful. Like the pictures inside that you get to color are so pretty. So I just thought why not get one for myself as a late Christmas present 
because I didn't get anything for myself as a Christmas present and you know treat yourself so I decided to treat myself and I got one. So the next few books were all birthday presents from my dad and the first one is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. I've been wanting to read this book for a very long time since I joined booktube because I heard a ton of people talking about this book and how much they liked it and yeah I've been wanting to read it since then so I plan to read it very soon. The next book that was a gift from my dad is Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This book came out in 2015 and it was all the rage. Everybody was talking about it. Everyone's talking about how it's a really great sci-fi series. It's the first book in a series but I'm really excited to get to it and I'm also really excited to own it because this book is so so beautiful. When you take the dust jacket off it's like written on and blacked out and I don't even know it's just super cool. I just really appreciate the aesthetic design of this book and I'll see if I like the story but for now I'm just happy looking at the cover. <laughs> the next book that was a gift from my dad is also the first book in a series and it is A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. This is the first book in her Darker Shade of Magic series and the next book I think comes out in 2016 so I'm hoping to read this one before the next book comes out so I could pick that one up when it does. Okay so the final books that I got for my dad as a birthday present is probably my favorite present that I got this whole Christmas birthday this year and it is the hardcover box set of the Harry Potter books. I'm not going to hold all of them up because they're really heavy and they're sitting on my Harry Potter shelf that I've already made up and I don't want to ruin my assortment so I'm not going to but yeah I got all of the hardcover books and I'm so happy about it. If you watched my Joy of Christmas book tag I talked about how that was the one thing that I wanted for Christmas slash my birthday more than anything else and I'm really really thankful to my dad that I got it so I'm so so happy to have these. They're beautiful and gorgeous and they just sit on my Harry Potter shelf and they look fantastic and I'm so happy to have them and now I've been continuing reading the series and I've been reading these and I love it. I love it so much and I'm so so happy about it. The next book I got as a birthday Christmas present, I honestly don't know at this point. I don't know what was a Christmas present. I don't know what was a birthday present. They're just all presents. But anyway, the next book that I got is a book that I really really wanted because I don't own a copy of it and it's one of my favorite books of all time but I wanted a very specific edition of it and it is this copy, this edition of The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. They have an entire F. Scott Fitzgerald collection that have these covers, matching covers, that are in different colors and they're all so, so beautiful. But I haven't read any other works by F. Scott Fitzgerald so I didn't want to just get all of them even though I haven't read them because I wouldn't know if I like them or not. But I do love The Great Gatsby and I really wanted this edition so I'm very 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 happy that I got this one for Christmas. The next book that I got for my birthday was given to me by a very very good friend who listened to me when I didn't even think they were listening to me and they got me one of my very very favorite childhood books and that is The Last of the Really Great Wine Doodles by Julie Andrews Edwards. Julie Andrews Edwards, if you didn't know, is in fact, Julie Andrews, the queen of theater and film. I read this book for the very first time when I was in third grade and I always say that it was like the Twilight series and the Harry Potter series that kind of really got me into reading but honestly this was the first like standalone book that I really truly fell in love with. I don't think I could really explain to you what the story is about because I haven't read it since I was in third grade but I just know that it's like fantasy and magical and of course, like I mentioned many times, that is my favorite type of thing to read and I'm really really excited to own a copy of it now and I'm so thankful that my friend got this for me because I want to read it again and I want to relive it but I'm so so happy to have this so thank you, thank you so much because I love this and I'm so happy to have it. So the next book that I got was another book that I got from a friend and it is another book that I've been really wanting to read for a very long time and it is Bad Feminist by Roxane Gay. I have several friends who have read this book who have absolutely loved it and recommended it to me and I know several people here on booktube who have read it who also loved it so I'm very very happy to have this and it is one of the top books that I plan to read in 2016 and I might actually get to it very very soon because I really really want to read this one. The next book I also got from another friend who is probably my best bookish friend because we always go book shopping together and we're actually planning on going book shopping tomorrow so I might actually have more books to haul which 
that's just terrible of me and I need to stop. But anyway, she got me this beautiful, beautiful edition of War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy. Now, first of all, this book is absolutely massive. Like it's a thousand plus pages and I, I don't even know how I'm gonna manage to read this but it is one of her favorite books of all time. And we have been eyeing this edition for so, so long because it's so beautiful. The cover is just this gorgeous blue and then the spine is this beautiful orange color. And it's just such a gorgeous book. And I'm so thankful to her for getting it for me because I really do want to read this book. And it sits on my shelf right next to Anna Karitina right now. And yeah, I really need to get to both of those, but nonetheless, I'm so, so thankful to her for getting this for me. The next book that I got is the final book that I got as a birthday present from my friends, and it is from another one of my wonderful, wonderful friends, and she got me Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda by Becky Albertalli. So story behind this one, after I finished reading Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe, I was looking for more LGBTQ plus books to read, and this one showed up as a recommended one, and I think this came out in 2015. And my friend who got it for me, is one of the friends that I gave the book to. She's actually the first person that I gave Aristotle and Dante to to read because she's the one who doesn't like reading but I knew she would like that book and after she read it she was looking for some other books and she also found this one so she decided to get it for me and I'm really happy that she did and I'm so so thankful to her because I'm really excited to read this one and I just can't wait to get to it. So the next books that I have to show you guys I am super super excited to finally own because I have wanted to read this series for so long since joining booktube because a lot of people were talking about it and talking about how much they loved it and it is the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. I have never read a Brandon Sanderson book and a lot of people have been talking about how much they love Brandon Sanderson so I thought I would jump on the Brandon Sanderson train and try out some of his books but I wanted to start out with the Mistborn Trilogy because those intrigued me the most. This is probably the top series that I want to read in 2016. So this next book is a book that is one of my all-time favorite books or technically my all-time one of my all-time favorite plays and it is this gorgeous gorgeous edition of Hamlet by William Shakespeare. This book is super tall and it's illustrated like it's just absolutely gorgeous like oh I love it and like I said Hamlet is one of my favorite Shakespeare plays it is my favorite Shakespeare play but it is also one of my all-time favorite plays I love it it's so beautiful and I just want to reread Hamlet now and finally the very last book I have to show you guys in this Christmas slash birthday book haul is The Grace Keepers by Christy Logan I've been wanting to read this book for so long because it has been compared to the night circus in atmosphere and as you all know, that is my favorite book of all time, and I just will read anything that is similar to it or that is said to be similar to it. So I'm so, so excited to own this book, and I'm so, so excited to finally get around to reading it because I'm really, really hoping that it has those night circusy vibes because I will be very, very happy. Okay, this is literally impossible. I see people attempt this all the time, and you can't even see all of them. And also, this is not even all of them. I can't even hold all of them. It's impossible. I'm sorry, guys. So that is it, guys. Those are all of the books that I got for Christmas slash my birthday. This was an absurdly large book haul, and I'm assuming it's going to be a very long video. So sorry to future me who has to edit this. But nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. Let me know in the comments down below what are some of your books that you got for Christmas or what are some of the books that you got for your birthday or just books that you got recently and what are some of your favorite ones of those. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye. So you can like put your tea inside of here and then you just like put it in your mug and then you can just stir it around. This is so cute.